Hello there, you're welcome back to Biology Lectures with Akiri Lee Oladimiji Philip. It's my pleasure to have you with me on the lecture. So today we'll move on to the topic conjoined twins. I suppose you've seen the other video when we talked about how twins, this is the continuation of the, the um, how twins are formed as a matter of fact, this will be the concluding part. And you might want to check up um, the video on monozygotic twins. That's a part of the first video it's going to help you understand this basically like, like as uh, 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 um, a necessary review i would say that um of course monozygotic twins are twins formed from one spam cell one egg cell and one spam cell that forms a zygote all right then the zygote then splits into two offsprings that then develops to become of course this sorry, split into two different embryo, and that becomes a fetus. Then each of the fetus becomes uh, a baby, so to say. Now, having established that fact, so what brings us to, sorry, what brings us to conjoined twins? Apparently, I said at the beginning that these two wonderful looking girls are wearing the same shirts i mean they're wearing one shirt like one shirt that's because they are actually joined together so let's look into this so conjoined twins are popularly referred to as siamese twins which are joined in utero which means they were joined they were not really not like they were joined different so they were before they were initially separated then joined no what really happens was because they were joined because when they were splitting, they didn't split completely. Let's check this out. This, this occur, sorry for that. This occur when monozygotic twins split incompletely. Sorry for this error here, please. It's meant to be occur, please. Now, looking at this, you can see what happens. The mother's egg, the father's sperm cells forms a zygote. As usual, of course, the zygote decided to split mitotically, but for some reasons, this part, this part, did not split completely, and that is where the challenge is. Now, because it didn't split completely, those parts. Let me let me show you something real quick here. So this, excuse me. So this part here we continue like that still attached till the baby becomes a real like from the embryo becomes a real baby and the part of the body that this part ought to form remains joined together so sometimes it could be the head sometimes it could be the the the, the, the back it could be the chest it could be the back i mean it could, it could be the side it could be the arm it could be the stomach or I mean, the abdomen so let's check, take a look at this. So what will happen is that when we say conjoined twins, they are twins formed from monozygotic twins that ought to have splitted completely, but for some reasons were still held together. So the part of their body, the part of the, 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 the zygote or the, the, the embryo that was still held together is what remains held till like adulthood, so to say. Let me, this will make more sense to you now. Now, there are different types of um, conjoined twins based on the part of the body that is still joined. Like I told you, this the egg is not complete. Sorry, the zygote is not completely split. So this part, when they become a real baby or fetus, the part that is still that is now seen because when they were zygotes, nobody really knows what this will become. Nobody knows. So for some, it was the part that was supposed to become their chest and abdomen that is joined some it is the chest alone so to say so and that brings us to what we have here thoraco omphalog pigos which means this is the thoracic part and the abdominal part the next one is the thoraco pigos only the chest alone you can see the percentage the the incidence of all of them then the heteropigos means um, they are parasitic twins that's quite different then of course we know of the um craniopigos this is I'm going to come back to this shortly because of um, the story of um, someone, uh, uh, we should know him, um, Ben Carson, Benjamin Carson, that 
we, I think we all know who the man is, so to say, he's, he's a doctor, he's a renowned neurosurgeon, all right? Now, basically, these are the types. You might want to pause the video here to um, take a look at it and see how commonly we have this in the world and all of that. So, moving on, so these are what we're talking about. This is the abdomen only, this is the chest only, this is the um, craniopagus, that's the head only, this is the back, all right? This is the, the butt, like the bum bum, like that. You can see all sorts of, like that, so to say. So these are different types. So it means that when these were splitting, it then split completely in during embryogenesis, and that's what happens. So the part that still held together during that part is what you are seeing here now, all right? Now, can conjoined twins be separated? Well, the answer is yes. Yes. It depends on how severe the situation is. What do I mean by that? Sometimes when the twins, there's a case where the twins are sharing one organ. Yes. Like they just have one heart. There's a case I, I read about that the, the twin is having, one is having, let me put this way, like this is, sorry, let me use this. This is a twin, this and that. So they are joined like this. So the heart is here, the lungs is here. So it means that twin A is breathing for the two of them and twin B is pumping blood for the both of them. So when they were separated, they both died within space of maybe minutes because the one was relying on the other one for, I think the one that died immediately was the one that was breathing for the two of them. I can't, I'm not so sure of that, but I mean, I did read that there was a part, a, a case whereby they were sharing organs. And when you separate those ones, so that's why, of course, before surgeries like that are done, there's going to be a lot of investigations, scans, x-rays to see what they have in common. If they have different organs, can they be independent and all those. So the, how you separate conjoint twins depends on the nature of their complication, if I will say, all right, or how independent they will be when now these are one of the stories i really love to call your attention to these um ladies in the uk i was one of the i think the first successful um spinal or i don't know how to explain it they were joined at the back this was the ladies when they were babies obviously you can see them separate now yeah so these so they were actually joined together really and they were separated and we know this major story of um the one that happened for um uh dr benjamin frank um sorry benjamin carson i mean to say please so he of course his own case he had done other ones anyways but the one that really brought him to limelight was the one he did um with the where, whereby he separated and uh, i think it's about etna surgery I mean, I mean, that was how, 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 how serious it was. They had to separate. The, the, the babies can live separately, but I think there was an anastomosis, which means like there was, uh, like, I don't know how to use that, a common, uh, there was like a joining, not like joining, like their blood vessels were like twisted together so much that it took a lot of hours to, a lot of hours to separate that out so to say so this was benjamin franklin giving um i think a lecture on how he did it or how he was going to do it i'm not so sure of when this was taken but this was all of this on the screen were true life cases of people that were separated really i couldn't really get the picture of those twins that were really separated so, but these ones i mean you could just go online and see them so it is possible to separate conjoined twins but it depends on the level of um, complication or how if they can be independent or not, all right? I hope this has been helpful in one way or the other. Please feel free to ask me questions and um, please do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are seeing this, this on YouTube or follow and like my page on Facebook and please share this to those that might need it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.